So back rooms. Let's take a look. Announcement, new levels every two weeks, level editor, co-op, and PvP mode. Ooh, got some found footage, handy cam, view. So the back rooms is an online co-op experience with friends, dynamic levels, proximity voice chat. Every second week, new level will be added. Or create your own levels with the in-game level editor. Face the unknown together. Oh, the unknown, just like the other game. Um, communicating strategically in this inner or immersive and chilling adventure. So I'll link this over. I'm not sure if um, this has like an like a single player mode, but maybe we'll get to team up with others. I don't know if um, there'll be anyone else that's going to be playing this. And there, like, there's another backrooms game that's also sort of part of the Steam Next Best, but this is the one that's just called. Back room, so let me link this over to chat. Start this one. Um, yeah, this is gonna be another first person view game. So beware! And it might be a little too spooky for some, so I advise folks to uh, step away if needed. The graphics are, are definitely up there, it looks a bit. It's got that wide screen, but then like recording in SP quality. SP, I, from what I remember, that is um, like mid, mid quality when it comes to VHS. Uh, there would be LP, SP, and then EP. I think EP is the, the high quality one, if I recall. Um, and then the, the, the LP would be long play. I think S is, I forgot what the S stands were for SP. And then the E is... Oh, I forgot what the E stands for now. It's been a long time. But I used to record on, on VHS back in the day. VCR. Uh, developer and publisher Found Footage Studios. This is their first game. Published to Steam. Yeah. For Windows. Level editor. Looks nice. Well, I can actually go in depth with the... Uh, well, Extend the walls and stuff. Get some presets there, and then you can uh, reshape the shapes. It's pretty neat. Proximity voice chat, escape the unknown, SCP monster. <laughs> yeah. For anyone who is uh, you know familiar with backrooms, they're actually making a movie. I think the uh, the original filmmakers um, were asked to do a, a full length feature. And it's been picked up by A24 Films, the uh, the label. Um, all right, so I already looked in, looked in the chat. I'm gonna boot it up. And hopefully, it runs fine. Here we go. Backrooms demo. Oh wow, we can also do the level bitter filter. Let's try this out. Hopefully, it supports controller. Controller not supported? Oh, okay. Well, good thing we charged the battery. Alright. Wait for the game to load. Runs on Unreal Engine. Work in progress. Alright, so... Yeah, I hope that the, uh, the controller would... still operate while we play this. Workshop maps, settings. Hopefully it runs fine. 1080p, and then quality options are on Epic. Voice chat there. Breathing volume. Controls. Wads. Run is left shift. Spacebar jump. Zoom is left mouse, flash with uh, with F key. Pause game to escape. And then V to push the talk. Mouse sensitivity, let's, let's push it up a little more. I'm going to go with midway. And then FOV. Um, let's try a single player. Um, or actually, let me, let me check to see. 
if there's any lobbies on. Okay, so there's like four lobbies open right now. Are they all password protected? I don't know. Well, we we'll probably check it out. If I still have battery left, we'll probably check out the multiplayer. But first, let's see how the single player works. Waiting on host to start the game. Okay, this is my lobby. <laughs> okay, so maybe it is an online game. I feel like it's like the um, that ghost one that I've played. I don't think I've ever featured it on stream as like a like a go like you play as a ghost and then there's like a group of um, Ghostbusters um, that would be dressed like this. They would have like suits and stuff, and they would go. They would look around for the ghosts, and the other team would play as the ghosts. So they're exterminating <laughs> or busting the ghosts, pretty much. The ghosts would just go and hide and try to try to haunt the um, the Ghostbusters. So it's like humans versus ghosts, and whoever once the humans are taken out, that's the uh, the end of the game, and then the the ghosts would win. But if the ghosts are taken out, then the humans would win. So it's like a it's pretty neat. Pretty fun, like team versus team. Uh, it's kind of like Love or Dead. All right. Um. Yeah. If I can't do uh, here, let me just start and start a game. And see what happens. Peaceful mode. What is peaceful mode? Okay, camera movement seems fine. Well, is this how short I am? Well, I guess we're really short. From the looks of the camera earlier, I thought the character was going to be a lot taller. Okay, we got some camera wobbles, which is okay. It runs pretty quick, though. It's got like a slight blur at a distance to give it that uh, VHS look filter. So far, the color scheme for the for this facility reminds me of like GoldenEye 64. Color scheme wise, you know, lots lots of grays, and then you know, little bits of yellow, like stripes of yellow. It's a bit like Goldeneye. Oh, look at this subject. Okay. So I don't know what our Danger. Yeah, I don't know what our um, like what we're we supposed to do and stuff. I guess we'll just run, huh? Try to escape the monster. Area one. Do not enter. <laughs> do not enter, and then we just enter anyway. So if you go in there, I think um, yeah, that's when that's when it starts to. That's when the, the whole thing starts. If we do go in there, I don't know if we can get enter though. No. So I feel like once we get to that spot, like the whole entire area would uh, change its look. Let's see if there's anything going on here? No. Can't crouch. To area. Wait, wait. No, because it's just area one. I'm not gonna try and risk going down there though. I feel like there might be a door somewhere. Oh, mouse and keyboard. That mouse looks a lot different. Check to see if there's a door over here. This is where we came, right? 
I feel like the camera is too wobbly. Might be an elevator. Can't enter there. No. Looks like it might be an elevator. Yeah, it's an elevator. No. Can't activate that at all. This is where we spawned. What is a way to disable? Uh, I hope that there's an option to disable the the wobbly camera. Cause that thing is just like distracting. Yep, I don't know. If there's a a way to start this. Got some nice patterns on the floor. Almost uh, Twin Peaksy. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know how to start this. All right. I might as well just like enter like a lobby or something. Settings. Unlimited frame rate. Camera shake. There you go. I'm gonna leave that off. Maybe then let's see how the light actually looks like. Yeah, I like the light a little more. You can actually focus. But when it's set to normal, it's like, it's too wobbly. Too much of that shaky cam, color feel, you know? But I think when it's light, it's better. You know, it's got that stabilization. All right. Um, yeah. Not much we can do in single player. Unless I'm missing something and, you know, it's not obvious. Because I don't see it. <laughs> Unless there's something that's glowing and, I don't know. It's not as obvious. So let me see if I can join a person. Two out of five. This person is missing one person here. Oh, we got to set the password, huh? All right, let me join this person. And again, no idea how this is going to go. But we're just going to learn as we go. Hello? Here's to see if there's any, uh, I think the, the V key, right? V key is the voice. Back rooms. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh, suppose already up. How come, why? <sighs> I feel like they should always show this, you know, show that we're, you know, we're ready to ready up and stuff. So I don't know how this is going to go. Lead the way. I don't know if they're here or not. Like always show the chat and then always show whether or not everyone is ready and stuff. Oh. Still typing there. I don't know who that third person is. No. The chat box is just like in the way. Where to? I don't know if they're able to see chat though. <laughs> There's a moonwalk. Do we go into the elevator? See, I tried jumping into the elevator before. It just didn't work. No. Alright. I'm going to follow this guy. Let's see where he takes us. I don't even see a third person in here. Scan. Oh my gosh, we're all in these yellow suits. I'm reminded of uh, the 
that one scene in Back to the Future 85. Okay, how can you open this then? How do we open it? Oh. I'm zooming in. Also, is it detecting the mouse? Let me see. It's supposed to show the indicator for the mouse. Double check. Yeah, I don't know if that's showing or not. It's supposed to show that I'm clicking the mouse. Unless the app must have uh, closed up on us. Find white button around the computers to open the door. How come that didn't tell me? When I was playing single player. White buttons around the computer? Let me check the computer then. Oh, there we go. Is this the button? Interact. It's a, a really odd button graphic design. There's the body again. Okay, so I press the button. A big button. Can't miss it. Okay, here we go. We're entering. How come this didn't show for me? Wait for everyone. Is the camera still shaking like that? Let me see. I feel like I should just disable all the um, the camera shake. Come on. Wait for the guy. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's like a, like a lobby area. Um, oh, I didn't get to check whether or not that audio was uh, being picked up. Oh, I didn't get to check whether the previous game had uh, audio. Hopefully it did, I don't know. Okay. Let me see, there's a showcase demo, you can ex experience a full rough preview of the game, but keep in mind that this is a very early stage of the game. Are we separated? Are we separated? I just told the team that. Oh, there you are. Alright, flashlight on. So I guess we just look around, huh? Oh, how did this person get here? <laughs> I'm gonna go straight down this way. Found some text. No escape. With an extra O. Screenshot this. I <laughs> almost forgot what the uh, screenshot key was. Washington? Where's that third guy? <laughs> Where's that third guy? See the, the work in progress. Oh. oh. There's the markings again. Oh, there you go. I'm going to try and hug the, uh, the right side for now as we're going like in clockwise order. Whoa, it's the fourth person. Oh, which one? Voice check? Who is whom? <laughs> oh, it's V. It's old V. Okay, can you hear me? We can hear you. Yeah. 
Oh, this this part is dark. Even my flashlight cannot uh, light this as as well. Oh, I see some lights flashing down here. Is there a local chat or is it only holding record? Justice Lobby, I think. Okay, no. Might be straying too far from the group. <laughs> oh, I think we've uh, split up. Further down the hall, I think. Hugging the left. Oh, I see someone. Just to see how the proximity chat would work. Here's the uh, light fixture again. All right, I think we've I think we've gone around this hallway before. Hmm. All right. It's like this guy's going over here. Oh. Looks like the game just loaded there. See anything? Find all levers to open the door. Find all levers. How many are there? Oh, there's a text again. I feel like we gotta go into like these smaller spaces here to further investigate, you know, and maybe to find things. Oh, I just saw someone over there. Oh, there you go. All right, that guy's going that way. I'm gonna just gonna look around, even if it's like on my own. Oh, <laughs> that's the best of a group. here detour oh Ooh, look at this space whoa I think I fell I fell <laughs> spectating uh yeah those are holes I can't even see anything <laughs> Yeah, you can't spectate as... I don't know. The like ghost hunting the game? I think it's just called Ghost Hunters or something like that. Like Ghost Hunters. If I... I don't know. I'm trying to remember the name of that game that I played. Um, and the same thing for like Left 4 Dead and you know, the Valve games. You can press the space key 
and you can spectate in third person of who else is in the lobby and stuff. But I feel like it's necessary to add that in this game. Um, yeah, I can't do much else. I guess I can just um, exit and then maybe I'll join another lobby. Seems to be a lot of that breathing sound effects, so now I know that that, you know, we can hear that, so I'm just gonna lower that breathing. Invoice gain, stereo bias, noise threshold, noise release, okay. It's got the, um, the noise reduction effect. That's pretty neat. Let's go back. Let's join another one. Now there seems to be a lot more people. Um, hmm. If I join in, would I join in as a new player? Like a different player? Let me try this with the person here. See there. Let's go. Woot. <laughs> Hello. It's funny that we got ready up. We got to press the tab to ready up. And the game does not tell us that, I don't think. It just shows tab lobby menu, and that's about it. That's how I knew about the tab. But I feel like that should always be in view, you know? When you enter a lobby. Oh, that guy just disconnected. Oh boy, here. Let me see if you join this one again. Oh, wow, we just respawned. Alright, we got a new life. All right, let me see if we can find the rest of the group. <laughs> yes, we've been reborn. You guys find a monster? I'm just gonna run around. I don't care if we find a monster or not. I'm just gonna... If we do find a monster, that'll be great. You know, I can just, you know, screenshot and stuff. It's part of the... investigation. And the camera's still wobbly when you run. So far we haven't found the monster or levers. If I can run into the group, that'd be great too. I feel like I should just like... Oh, there you go. We got a person. Yay! Hey, I'm alive. <laughs> Let's go find that lever. Light flicker. Find all levers to open the door. And that's the thing too, they don't tell us like how many levers. Man, every wall looks the same. I feel like it's, it's gotta go, like, run into the center of the place. Okay, yeah, no. Oh, what happened? Okay. Oh my gosh. What? Okay. Did someone find the lever? Oh man. Workshop maps. Steam doesn't support workshop for other game demos. Will be available on release. Explore the editor. 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 Can build awesome levels in the meantime. Make sure you share them as soon as the game is out. Oh. I wanted to uh, join more. Let's go back in. I notice how there's uh, different loading screens. I see a garage here.
Yeah, so far, not too impressive. Like, I barely even found anything. No lever, no monster. Pending connection. Yeah, maybe I should open one. I don't know. Host game. Let's put a max. Let's put a maybe four for now. Lobby type. Open. Oh wow, there's a land play too. Nice. Host lobby. Ooh, look at this underground one. I think I'll give this a few minutes. I'm not sure this is the type of game. I was looking for like a single player experience, you know, like just have it where it's narrated and everything, you know. And then we're out to look for that monster, you know what I mean? Alright, got one person in. I feel like they should add server messages that says, oh yeah, this person joined and stuff like that. Godlike gamer. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to wait for another person to join. I think we should just, yeah, we we'll see. I'll wait till they're ready and then I'll go about it. Disable all puzzle and entities from the game. Interesting. Levels will be empty for free exploration. No entities, no puzzles, just empty back rooms to enjoy the vibe. Interesting. All right, I think I'll, I'll keep the peaceful mode on or off for now um, until we see some puzzles and stuff. Uh, let me see and tell this person to to enter. I don't know if the, the chat would pop up automatically. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the game should tell us, like, there needs to be text to tell the player in, you know, big bold letters. Like, don't just, like, write in text, like, small text. Like, show it where it's, like, visible for everyone to read. Because apparently, you know, not every player would know to do that. There you go. Now we can start. See? Easy as that. Like, how come the developer does not know this? <laughs> This is probably their first game making like a multiplayer game. Like, that's like common sense to know to to put that in there. All right, let's start. All right, let's start. This way. Also, I don't how do you know if my input is on the right input? Doesn't seem to be... I hope that it's detecting the Steam selection. I don't know. Whatever input I select on Steam client. I hope that is what the game is uh, detecting. Come on, this way. Not that way, this way. Man, everything's so gray. Bright lights. Dirty lens. There you go. Yeah, this is pretty much the lobby. Alright, this is the button. Circular button. Now we open the door. And it's time to explore. Oh, he's loading. Alright. This is exciting. Yeah, I'll probably just do, um... Yeah. I don't know. We'll just run around and find some switches. F key for flashlight. We gotta find the switches. Not sure how many there are. I'm gonna hug the side again. I'm 
Man, I'm just going down the dark hallways. Yeah, so A24s um, picked up the uh, the actual original director that's made the the YouTube backroom videos, and uh, yeah, they're gonna make a, a full length feature based on the backrooms shorts. So that's gonna be neat. We got some text over here. You know what would be neat if um if we could find objects by sound like proximity sound. So if we can hear like certain sounds, like I don't know, it was like a noise sound, like a like a like a soft noise sound, like like stacky noise or something like that. Um, we would know that we're closer to the object, the louder that the sound is, you know. Like that would be neat. Hello. Hello. I cannot move. Everything's white. We see you. Well. I can move, but it's everything's white. What's happening? Could be the graphics. Yeah, keep in mind this is a demo too, so it, it could be the game that's bugging. I I got it to normal. I had to change some settings. Yeah, it's a showcase demo, so... Yep, rough preview of the game. Early stage. Yeah, I can't find any levers. Oh. Well, I can hear the footsteps. Can't crouch. Ooh, I found a ladder. Found a room that has um, holes, like endless pit. I think we just walked down here, huh? I'm not sure if the rest of the group can hear me, though. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna go down here. Hopefully we don't fall off again. Oh, found a monster. We found the monster. See so if can get get it to fall. Oh wow. Oh, it's got me. Oh, I'm still alive. Oh my gosh, I'm spectate. <laughs> I could just see what else is back there, though. Look, it's not running after the guy. See, he spotted the monster. Wow, I could use a run. <laughs> yeah, this would be a spot that would um, have the monster there. Oof, man. He's swapping. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, what? Did they fall off? Haha. <laughs> Get a closer look at them. No flashlight, though. Mm hmm. 
Let me check this room here. This is where I saw it. Whoa. Is that where this... Oh, that is a switch. That is definitely... Oh, we can interact. Yeah, no. We are already doomed. <laughs> Interesting. Man. Yeah, the switch would be where the monster is located. Alright. Now I get the idea. Switch is back here. Hello? Hello? Can you hear us? Why didn't he not go for the switch? Oh my gosh, man. Uh oh. Check to see where that monster is located. Okay. Oh, they're running. It's almost like, um, the, the way the monster is designed is very similar to Bendy and the Ink Machine. Let's just say there. There's lots of blacks and yellows. Here's that ladder again. I went down this way and then turned left. And then that is the room right there. So I don't know what this switch would do. Handprints there. Behind the wall. Still can't hear me. That was audible. And everyone's got like different settings for mics and stuff. Curious to see where the monster is now. The end is here. I'm not sure what that says. It's almost like it's saying here yo. Ooh. Is it behind that wall? Found another. Yeah, the blue one. Yeah, uh, I feel like we might have to start a new lobby. <laughs> okay, three seconds. Wait. Did the countdown just start over again? I just saw it, like, counting upward with a timer. Let's see where the monster is now. Oh, here we go. I found another one. We can go down this way. Left. Ooh, I know where the monster is now. Does that say there? Ooh.
It's running. Alright, I feel like I gotta start a new lobby. Yeah, I'm gonna start a new lobby. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this guy's hiding over here. <laughs> yeah, there's a switch over there. It's been hit, I think. Yeah, I don't know how you can escape a monster from this end. But I'll, I'll just continue moving, I don't know. But this is this might be a good way to survive. Right there. Let's see where he goes. Wow, he just ran. Oh, there goes the monster. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he's chasing that one. Oh my gosh, she just disappeared. Rip. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Alright, sorry, new one. Well, at least now we found uh, the monster. I think we'll do one more. Yeah, we'll do one more. Let's open up like five slots. Ooh, is that hospital setting? Wait for everyone to join. The join. <laughs> Do, do 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 We got one person. Got second person there. Third person. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, we do. Volume is very low, though. Alright, going to start in a few seconds. Interesting, when you press escape, it shows the uh, the menu, but then like, you gotta, you gotta click on the continue, you can't press escape again to close it, which is uh, not great. Until this guy. Tap key to ready up. All right, hopefully the sound is coming through. Wait for this guy to re-ready. And I can barely hear what he's saying. Can barely hear you, buddy. Hmm. Come on. Oh, no. Come on, Cyrus. Trying to start. Come on, guy. All right, I'm going to start a new one. I'll give it another minute. Like, even if I have to do solo, I'll, I'll, I'll just probably just do a solo. At least now I know how to open that door. But since we're hosting one, you know, it allow folks to have a chance to join. But I kind of want to explore, and maybe I'll try peace mode on too. 
peaceful mode. Let's see. I think I'll just start the game. Yeah. It's weird that when someone joins in, they have to like ready up before we can start. All right, here we go. Press the button. Then go down this way. I didn't realize that door opens for us. Alright. Oh. Hello. I'm just gonna go down further this way. No escape. Oh, here we go, here we go. I know there's a switch down this way. Watch out for the monster, though. There it is! Alright, it's going down that way. I'm gonna hit the switch. Alright, I'm gonna hit that switch. There you go. Switch one down. I don't think we can use it ladder, can we? No. Let's see if we can find that second switch. I think it's down this way, right? On the second switch. So far, I'm making progress. Now I don't know where the third switch is. Help us. Man, everything just changes too. Oh, more holes there. I was trying to trick the monster to fall in there. Ooh, here we go. The end is here. Can't open a door. The big door, too. Like, the knob itself is, like, hard to reach. Well, it's not hard to reach, but it's like a head height. Alright. Yeah, I feel like we're at a different location than before. Left. I think this monster is, like, around here, too. Let me screenshot this. Found another switch. Oh, just went around. Okay, so that's the third one. Ooh, I can hear that. Hmm. It's gonna run around this way. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, I can hear it behind the wall. Oh, there's a no escape sign again. Don't know where. So you can't. Uh, I'm pressing tab to see if there's any other players in the lobby, but. We're at this part again. Sounds like someone is running. Oh, what happened here? They're coming. Did we finish it? Thank you for playing the demo. Okay, wow. I think someone must have uh, hit the last switch. Let's go back to main menu. Back rooms. Oh, we can look behind. Oh, man. The rotation of this, I think, is it's very unfinished. The sensitivity is, like, not up there. It's, like, reset to default. Update soon. Okay. Step one. Step four. Okay. I think that... I think that does it for this game. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Let's see if there's any more lobbies. Yeah, pretty neat concept. Nice proof of concept for back rooms. This is demo version 1.0.0. Hmm, what are these dots? Alright, well. Pretty neat that someone has um, come up with a game. Uh, let me check to see which that other game was. Yeah. Level editor, online co op, and then new levels. Back rooms. There we go. That is updated, uploaded. Yeah, there was like another back rooms game. Oh wow, there's a few of them. Let's get the back rooms. Let's see if this one was part of the Steam Next Mess. This is a different one. This is uh this came out a couple years ago. Fancy games. Well, seems like everyone's just making their own. But yeah, this would be the way to browse the next uh, Steam Next Fest. Um, head over to Steam page, main page, and yeah. Click the tab, new and noteworthy, and scroll down to Steam Next Fest, and it will bring it to here. Um, it will also sh list the past Next Fest as well. Yep, and here are the ones displayed for uh, this current event in February. Let me maximize it. You can sort by different genres, themes, moods. Mystery and Horror. Let's see what's in the um, the top right now. Back rooms. We just did that one. I didn't even make it to that that room. <laughs> oh man, it's like a. Oh man, what was that room? Interesting. Mouth washing. We did this earlier. Still gonna do Crow Country. Demon Spore. Oh, this is like the top down one, right? Twin stick shooter. Deathbound, Menace from Deep. It's like a deck builder. Looks like that's pretty neat. Would be interesting to feature them, but uh, oh, here we go. Here's the other one. Level unknown, backrooms. So again, it's like the same concept. This one looks more detailed. This comes out in uh, March 27th, 2024. Wow, whole variety of different uh, 
was it's a hard drive in here. Interesting. It's the same monster again. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, this is a, this is the other one. I mean, I could try this one. I'll have to like download it and stuff. All right, let's go back. Yeah, this one's uh, done by Found Footage Studios. Comes out in March. A whole lot of these games come out in March, like the quarter two of the year. Quarter one, quarter two. All right. Uh, let's see. What what else do we have next on the list? I think we can probably do Elif. 